angels are heavenly messengers of God who work in our favor. And the Bible says that they are sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. Moreover, they are also worshipers of the Lord, warriors who fight spiritual battles, and protectors of people, always caring for them in the name of Jesus. The care of these celestial beings for God's creation is so great that if we analyze the passages of the Bible, we will see that they always appear to the servants of the Lord, saying, Do not be afraid. But in the vast majority of times, angels do not appear to us as they appeared to Abraham and Sarah, Elijah, Mary, and so many other biblical characters. They act in a very discreet manner and do not draw attention to themselves while fulfilling the mission given by God. And as much as the Lord has called His heavenly messengers to work in His favor, He has also called angels to work in our lives in a very profound way, which often goes unnoticed by us. Therefore, in today's video, I will show you five ways that angels are working for you. But before we begin, I want to ask you to leave your like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to receive YouTube updates whenever I post a new video, okay? I want to help you in your journey with God every day. So let's get started. First, angels protect our day-to-day -day lives. Angels have the mission to watch over us and fight for us at all times, even at this moment. It is possible that the angels of the Lord are battling for your life in the spiritual realm against principalities and powers. Let's see what King David said about this in Psalm 91. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. And the Bible brings us several examples of this type of protection. To save Daniel, for example, God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. In another situation, the Lord sent angels in chariots of fire to protect Elisha and his servant from the enemy's attacks. This shows that God commands his angels to protect his children in all their ways. So, my dear brother and sister, even though you may not be seeing it, you are not alone. There is a heavenly army taking care of every step you take. Praise God for this. Second, angels bring God's message. The word angel means messenger. And there have been many occasions when God used these celestial beings to deliver his message to his people. Once, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Nazareth to deliver a message to a young woman who was promised in marriage to a man named Joseph. The virgin's name was Mary. Let's see what the Bible says. The angel went to her and said, Greetings you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. In various passages of the Bible, angels appeared to announce important messages as was the case with the mother of Jesus. But there are occasions when angels send words of comfort and security, or even of warning and judgment. However, this only happens on specific occasions, so we cannot expect angels to appear all the time to speak to us. The important thing is to focus on the Word of God because it is sufficient to guide us and reveal the will of the Lord. Okay. Third, the angels watch over us. See what the Apostle Paul said in his first letter to the Corinthians. We have been made a spectacle to the whole universe, to angels as well as to human beings. According to the Bible, many eyes are upon us, including the eyes of angels. But this matter goes even further than we can imagine. The Greek word for spectacle is translated as theater or public assembly. In other words, celestial beings closely observe human activities from the beginning when God created Adam and Eve. Therefore, they know very well how our nature leads us to act, and thus, they can foresee situations that may occur as we make our choices. And you may be wondering, but pastor, what does this mean? It means that angels can intervene in some situations in our lives to protect or even save us from any harm we may attract to ourselves. Going back to the event of Mary's pregnancy, the Bible says that Joseph, her fiancé, 
was deeply hurt by the situation and considered breaking off the engagement. This is because the culture of that time stated that it was not favorable for a man's reputation to marry a woman who was no longer a virgin. In response to this, God sent the angel Gabriel to intervene in the situation and speak to Joseph in a dream. He then understood that his fiancée would give birth to the Messiah and stood by her side, providing all the support and care she needed during the period of pregnancy. Do you see how angels play an important role in our lives? Fourth, angels encourage us. In the book of Acts, for example, we see that angels encouraged the first followers of Christ to begin their ministry. They also freed Paul and Silas and Peter from prison. And once an angel warned the apostle Paul that the ship he was on would not sink. In another instance, two angels encouraged the disciples when Jesus ascended to heaven. Let's see what the Bible says. Christ was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Look at this, brothers and sisters. These are just a few examples of how angels can encourage us when we need it the most. And if necessary, God will also place one in your path to strengthen you and encourage you to move forward. Fifth, the angels take care of us in death. Sooner or later, the time will come when we, as Christians, will leave this world and move to our heavenly home with God. And the angels will be with us, taking care of us during this transition. Jesus himself teaches us about this in the parable of the beggar Lazarus and the rich man in Luke chapter 16. Let's see what he said. The time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. When Jesus mentioned Abraham's bosom, he was referring to heaven. In other words, Christ made it clear that Lazarus was carried by angels to eternity, alongside the Father. And why would they do this for us? Because angels receive orders from God to take care of his children. Even though we may not see them, our lives are surrounded by angels, and they are here to assist us in our times of need, including death. Brothers and sisters, God loves us so much that he sends his angels to guide, protect, and, if necessary, encourage us in the various stages of our lives. Although we may not see the angels around us, they are indeed working all the time to help us in this life, and also in eternity, until the day when we will all praise the Lord together. Amen. See this wonderful vision that the Apostle John had about this moment. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb, who was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, if you liked this message, share it with your friends, your family, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. May God bless you.